Hey everybody, it's Owen from Owen's Legal Lab, and today I've got something that I think is very special. I've got Transformers Pops, I've got Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. These are pretty old, they're from Transformers Age of Extinction, so they're from 2014. You can't get these on Funko anymore, you have to buy them on like eBay or something. So I thought I might get a couple of these because they're so cute and they're retired and they're cute! Yee! And also, I'm gonna try to squeeze into this them little jam jams from when I was two, and that's how long I've been dedicated to Transformers. So it's a Transformers pop extravaganza with special guest PJs from when I was two. <laughs> so these aren't all the pops that you could get for Transformers. There was actually Drift when he was blue in a Bugatti, and then there was Stinger. He was just Bumblebee painted red. Yeah, he was like a Walmart exclusive or something. So I just got these two because these are the only guys that I really needed. And Drift didn't look that good anyways. Kind of looked like a Japanese king or something. I don't know. He looked pretty weird. So let me squeeze into this little shirt. Curtains, please. I'm just going to take this off. Oh god, I'm not going to fit into this shirt. I can't. Yeah. Oh wow, what do you know? Ta-da! It's kind of like a midriff. It's really tight and it doesn't cover my stomach. But meh, I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the video because, I don't know, why not? <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna open these guys up. Optimus Prime! Yeah, that wasn't too expected. And bums. Yeah, all right. So here they are. We've got Optimus and Bumblebee. Here is Optimus Prime. He's got his normal Age of Extinction look. He doesn't have very much red, which is kind of disturbing. But, I mean, he just looks really cute and he's got his fists out like that. And then he's got his mouth guard on, so yeah. And then he's got his iconic little horns. Not horns, but you know what I mean. And then he has little spikes on his feet, so it looks kind of cute. He's back of them. As you can see, he has his exhaust pipes like he does in vehicle form. And no, these guys do not transform, sadly. <laughs> that would have been so cute, but they don't. Oh, and this is sad though. They're not actually bobbleheads, they're just vinyl figures. You can move the heads left and right and stuff, but you can't actually bobble them. But, eh, you can have them like this. He looks pretty savage. All right, that's Optimus Prime. Here is Bumblebee. He's sporting his black and yellow look. It's weird because he has a blaster arm, but in the picture of the pop, like on the box, when it's animated, he has two regular arms. That's an inconsistency. But I mean, he does have a blaster arm in movies and stuff. Either that or it's special. Which it is. Unlike in the first three movies, he doesn't have the logo of the vehicle that he turns into on his chest. So he's the back. He's got the wheels, but he doesn't have the doors on the back like he normally would. He always has those though, so it's kind of weird. And a weird thing in Transformers the last night, or this by the way, he got shot and then he broke up into a lot of parts and then he just formed it back together. Like he just magically just it regenerated. Michael Bay, you can't do that. And here's his savage pose. He's gonna go. <laughs> All right, so that's Bumblebee. If only they transformed. All right, guys, so that was my Funko Pop Transformers video. Hmm, I'll cherish them forever. Unless they make more, then I won't cherish them as much. So like the video, tell me what you think of these little guys. I find them to be very cute and charming and whimsical. Simple, but whimsical. Comment? and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.